The angle distant constraint allows for rigid body rotation, which means a child point will stay at the same angle and distance relative to two parent points. If we looked at a point that is constrained normally using a horizontal and vertical constraint right here, We'll move the parent point, and as it moves up and down, the child point below it stays the same horizontal and the same vertical. And the shape of the component, that's what's changing. So if we want the pavement component to stay the same shape, and we want the child component to stay normal, we can use an angle distant constraint. So to do this, first I'll delete the constraints here. And then I'll go in and edit it. And I'll set constraint 1 to angle distance. And with the addition of this angle distant constraint, there's no constraint 2 because the angle distant constraint, it's going to fully constrain the point in the horizontal and the vertical. So I'll select parent 1 as A1 and parent 2 as A. And then it's going to automatically calculate the angle. I'll set that at 90 degrees. And my distance is at 1. I'll hit apply. So now you can see that I'm one point one foot down from the parent component and I'm at a 90 degree angle from the vector from parent 1 to parent 2. This angle right here is 90 degrees. Now I'll do this for the next point as well. So I'll delete the constraints. I'll edit it. Set it to angle distance and I'll go from point A to point A1 and I'll keep it at an angle 270 with a one foot offset. Okay, now I am going to move the parent component. And as I move it, you can see that the body rotates, in the, but the shape of our component is not changing. And A2 is going to stay normal to the vector A1 um, to A.